with the power armor. About to get to the bunker. As I had it, I came back here to do this, but I grabbed those. Uh, I grabbed those death eggs because I am fully aware of where the death eggs are. Uh, that you can store stuff anyway before you get started. So what I'm gonna do is before I kill myself again is run right, right over here to where I have this point. This this waypoint here at the abandoned BOS bunker. The nearest joint beside it is Camp Fort Lauren Hope. So I'm gonna go over here to Camp Fort Lauren Hope. Hopefully the remnants armor isn't something that's hostile and these dudes start shooting at me. You know, being that it's a unique item. And we can kind of get up in here and get get this DLC started. Now you like that was a that was a long intro, but you know seven minutes ain't that bad. So let's get it cracking. Get up in here. I don't even know what they do what they firing at. Check us out in our fresh, fresh gear again. Get over here to the bunker. I mean, my, my man got an auto cooling system inside of it because you know it gets hot up inside those inside those power armors. Man, I remember when I was playing Fallout 3 and like in the first couple of minutes, I mean, it was like the very beginning of the game, this dude in power armor just just starts going at you and I was like is you serious and the entrance to the DLC it says a drainage a drainage something for the brotherhood of steel left my heart in Sierra Madre this dude with this corpse here. I mean, he ain't got nothing on him. That cloud of residue. I'm thinking that you use that with some other stuff. But I will take those fusion cells. And like I said, there's an equipment storage thing where you can kind of throw stuff at. I got 200. We're going to drop off that rifle. I'm thinking there is, there's some robots down here, so I want to keep that. And I'm thinking that I want my, I want this handheld pistol. And I may just leave that behind. You know, a lot of food. Oh yeah, where are those dead eggs? I mean those eggs I picked up, they seven pounds a piece. Death Claw eggs I picked up. That's 49 pounds right there, you see? So let's get on down here. Actually, because we do want as much. You want as much space. If you can get about under 100 pounds, then you super tight. I'm going to leave. Leave a few of them cocktails down here. Leave that beer, leave that steak stuff. We can read that. Leave those noodles. Leave those Nuka Colas. Leave those pork and beans. Leave the water. I don't know why I got so much scotch. I don't even drink scotch. I don't drink it all, but come on, scotch. You know, we could really need them sugar bombs too down there. And that's about, like I said, you want to try to get up under 100 pounds. 
because you can't carry all the gold anyway, but you do want to try to get as much gold in your possession as you can, right? It's all about the gold, baby. You don't want too much heavyweight equipment. Cause they're gonna give you they're gonna give you some nice equipment anyway. Alright, seek out radio signal, let's get it cracking. Before we go all the way down there, we want to pick up the little goodies up in here. Can we open that? I don't really like doing these things. Because you can, you can sit here all day doing them. It's a drop box. It would probably open though before uh, after I beat this, but there's nothing in there but like some money I think. You know, there's a trick to. It's not really a trick. It's a it's a thing of what do you call it? Elimination when you do these joints. You can sit here all day, man, and overanalyze it, or you can just keep going to them. You know, claim it. Four out of eight. So it's either the ING part or, you know, still four out of eight. Cracking, five out of eight. You know what I'm saying? I never really liked how it worked. But it got a perk where you lock yourself out. You can go back for, I guess, one more time. Or you can just keep doing it three times and see if you can get it. But it's so it's so dependent on luck. Like I said, we run it through here really well. Who cares? I mean literally dependent on luck. They be having so many words up there, man, ain't no way. There it goes. There it goes. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead. Buried beneath Man, the that's like what, 14 minutes in? A bright, shining it's moment, all good, though. Luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's it's most nice little casino. And entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flashbulb. Well, that's cool. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there. It Doing these run-throughs gives me an opportunity to see the story again. Just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the It's giving me prime for that Honest Hearts playthrough. It's and then that cool. Old World Blues, which is about to drop. You know, when? Who knows? Who knows when they ever decide they're going to release stuff, you know? Psycho Sama. I guess they just decided, man. Nah, nah.